All right, so this video was supposed to be about my thoughts on the Surface Duo and how it's performing with Android 11, and also a quick look at Android 12L, which is looming in the future. However, the pink screen of death on iPad OS and iOS has been hitting my inbox like crazy lately. Everyone, Barry Johnson of Engineer Reacts. It is time to react. Engineer Reacts. All right, if you've been on Reddit or any Apple type forum, you probably started to see around November that the word pink screen and reboot or pink screen of death were starting to hit some of the threads. Now what happened is this, Apple has had a bug that's been around for years. And unfortunately for a lot of iPhone users, they weren't aware of it because it was hitting mostly iPads in the past. Even though it did hit the 11 series, it wasn't as prevalent as it was on iPad OS. So let's talk about what the bug is. Is. You'll go along, you might be doing something with your iPad or your iPhone, and what happens is you'll start to notice a little bit of a slowdown, and then suddenly the screen goes pink. And then you have a few moments before the system reboots. So when I started to hear about this, I was kind of surprised that I didn't see any other videos detailing it, but that's no neither here nor there. But I chose, I was like, I have to do a video because so many people are really concerned, and I have really good news. So let's go over again. This is a video of a young YouTuber, and I stress, I'm gonna put all of this information down below in the description, but please, if you have any type of trolling behavior, leave it to this channel. It's a young kid who literally does YouTube and was in the middle of editing and was like, I'm gonna post this video because I'm having issues. So here's what happens. The actual iPad will start going about doing this thing. So if you look at what the YouTuber did, all he's doing is connecting an external display to his iPad and boom, screen goes pink and now it reboots. So again, I said I had good news and here's the good news. If you do see this issue is you force restart the iPad or iPhone. If you see it again, you then simply go off and factory reset. Now it's very important that you do these steps because Apple is going to ask you if you do it. So if after you've forced restarted, you still see the issue, then you go back and you have factory reset your iPad or your iPhone and you still see the issue, then you simply reach out to Apple, explain to them what they do, and don't take no for an answer. There are some people at Apple that may be new and they don't know that this is a no questions asked, they replace the unit. So Apple is still in the process of working on it, but the good news, it's still a viable option for people that are concerned. So I had, like I said, a ton of people that were like, hey, should I just get rid of the phone? No, the phone is fine. It's not affecting everybody. And I wanted everybody to know that there are necessary steps in place in order to fix it. So again, I hope this serves people well and you'll understand that you have a path out there. And with that, make sure you stay pink free. This has been The Engineer. This has been my reaction and we're out.